All right, now we ha okay. We have Mike is working. Oh, thank God. Do we have Rimworld as well? Is that is that gonna pull up? Yes. Got sound for that. Yes. D okay. Thank God for that. Um. Hey, folks. I have no idea what happened there. I do apologize for that. That's that's not what I like to have happen at the beginning of a stream. But here we are. So I'm just gonna have to kill that. All right, and we're at zero viewers, so we're off to a good start because the stream broke. I should have done a test stream earlier because I'm also dropping frames. It looks like still better, worse. Okay. Well, it seems to be recording my audio input, and it seems to be recording uh, what's going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that everything is fine. Uh, please, please uh, up to the chat if it's not. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay. Uh. Hey folks, let me know in the chat if um, if things are awry because uh, my my monitor is buffering a little bit. I just need to know if it's me. If I need to restart my my computer here. Yes, no, anyone? Okay, I'm just going to take the withering silence as a uh, as as a everything is fine. All right, medical emergency, wasp. Ah, he's all right. Sure, he lost a lot of blood, but then he shouldn't have walked into that trap. It was there; he could see it. Uh, apologies to the people watching on the YouTube VOD for uh, what must have been excellent viewing just then. And uh, huge apologies to the people watching live for the even more excellent viewing of me having to restart the stream twice because it wouldn't work right. But uh, the three hours start when, the, when I start playing, not when the stream starting soon thing comes up. So we're good. You know, you get you get your content either way, and I make sure. <laughs> uh oh, oh hey, not uh oh, and oh hey, the two moods. Where's all this jade come from? Why do they? Why do these raiders keep bringing jade into my house? Maybe am I am I the bad guy? Have I been attacking traders this whole time? Very aggressive traders that like try to knock down my walls to get in. I also had a great idea for a for a defensive measure last night, so I'm going to employ that today. Uh, unfortunately, I do need to start some research on that, so I'm going to have to. Put a, uh, do we though? Now nah, we can keep the medicine production going. 
Also, hello to Nosmo and Cray with all those emojis in the chat. Thank you for using Badger's emojis. I'm always happy to see emojis of fellow streamers in the chat. And the Pog Champ. <laughs> Okay. Because Katie watches in the background and tells me if there's issues with audio and video and things like that. At least that's the plan. But I knew there was an audio issue because uh, I couldn't see the levels going up and down and for some reason the, uh, the, the mixer has decided that it just doesn't want to track that input anymore ever so here we are. Right, ADD. Uh, Vulcan's trader, where are you? Oh, they were passing by? They weren't stopping? No. No. Right. Pog champ, sloth. I'm always here for some sloths. You're always at home to miss a sloth. Doing this all will become clear. So she means that if somebody pierces through the wall, they can only get to a certain spot before they encounter a massive problem. And she's also going to deconstruct these sandbags here. I don't actually need to defend this area. There's nothing in there that's extremely important except for maybe the generator. And if that Jenny goes down, we just we just go without beer for a bit. <laughs> welcome, welcome, all five people. All right, do we want to? We have four prisoners, which is a record for us. Okay, first of all. Any of them get a relations release if we relations gain? No, so there's no point releasing them. Uh, well, we can't release this person anyway because they're uh, they're a guest. Guest. Bio. Incapable social. It's just a kid. A blank slate, pretty much. I mean, we could just get him to clean, I guess. Aw, oh, traits nervous and kind? Aw, oh, man. I think this guy's on the spectrum. We'll recruit him. Because we don't want him to be... to fall in with a bad crowd. Oh heck, this guy. This guy's on board. Absolutely. How about Naomi? Ah, uh, greedy nudist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, we don't really have room for more than that anyway. I suppose we do, because we've got some people doubling up. I don't like the greedy stat on her, really. But... I mean, we have an iron bedroom that she can have, I guess. Alright, sure, we'll, we'll recruit you as well. Oh, yes, shuffle. Excellent. Why did you let? Fine. Let's get you loaded in there.
Okay, someone's escorting her to the shuttle. Go, Pickles, go! What did we do that for again? What was our... Goodwill, yeah. Goodbye! From 15 to 48, okay, that was a good, a good go. Also, I have a cunning plan for the next time bugs try and get into a bedroom. It means basically destroying the bedroom, but it will be hilarious. Uh, in how effective it will be. I need you to make me some Molotov cocktails. Let's mine out two new rooms. So that we can have room to expand here. Oh, we're getting beer. Have a whole lot of beer. Everyone's gonna just be just trashed all the time. Also, holy cow, 17 followers already? Guys, thank you. Let's see, we got four bedroom rocks in my dryers, and uh, I can't see that one. Modern Sonnet has also subscribed. Thank you very much, you kind, kind people. Big fan of you all. Yeah, so rocks in my dryer, I, I I like a lot. So, last time I finished my stream and nobody that I usually host was online, so I was just like, okay, eeny, meeny, miny, you. And he's just a good dude. It's just a great dude. I, I'm very happy we found him. Okay, we've made some Molotov cocktails. So, basically... When one of these rooms gets attacked by um, insects again, we just toss a Molotov cocktail onto the carpet, seal it off, and let it go. <laughs> it's like, not our problem anymore. <laughs> That'll just burn merrily down. Uh, this will require me to build some air uh, airlocks, though, so that people don't get trapped inside a burning room. Oh hell. Guys. There's a burn happening. Uh someone get in there. It's burning through the burning through the components in the cop. Okay. Alright. Problem solved. For now, if only for now. Oh, in three hours we're going to have a lot of beer. Right, that's what I was doing. Steel, uh, steel airlocks. Well, slate airlocks actually will be better.
This also means that there's like an extra line of defense if somebody tries to get in. Brownouts? Right, because the power failed. Well, there's nothing growing in here right now, so let's... I'm a fool. I just realized what I've done. I moved that over there so that I would have it in a better area. And all I actually succeeded in doing was moving the switch from the place where it was useful to the place where it was not. <sighs> Curses. I mean, I guess I could have it go through there and then just have it connected to... Uh, balls to it. I'll just have somebody go in and just turn the damn thing off if need be. Wait, no, that's a sensible solution. Do that, Adam. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you came up with a sensible solution, then discounted it because you were too lazy. Why did you do that? Don't do that. That's, that's dumb. Build a copy in there just because. Generally, we want things to not be on fire. Sometimes a little bit of fire is okay. We can have a little of fire as a tree. Oh, that's because that's harvest, not chop wood. I'm like, why isn't this cutting down trees? Oh, because I clicked in the wrong place. Ah, oh, that's the badger. Do I have my psychic power active? I do. Let's make it happen. Marriage is on! Mandrel proposed a lifelong commitment to Latch. Latch agreed, the two are now engaged. Hey, hey, ass. Aww. Aww. Aww, that's nice. Yeah, we have a marriage spot, don't we? We don't. Let's get one in. Uh, misc. Marriage spot. We're going to have our first coldest marriage. I'm so happy. And we've got brewskis to celebrate. Get the beers in. Oh, my little biscuits. They're all growing up together and having a happy time.
sure we have a landing zone up here for whenever the, the royals want to come visit again. The regals. This royal. El Reyes. Exhausted our steel supply again. I'm gonna have to do the thing where I use my eyes to find steel. Yes. Oh no, we haven't completely exhausted our steel supply, I guess. The deep drilling is coming, guys. It's coming. It's I promise it'll happen. Save some wood. What? Picross is hiding in his room. Oh, well, she's about to get married, dude. What? Pickles, come on, man. You can't just go going after somebody's fiance. What's wrong with you? What did you ex expect was going to happen there? Surely not that. Them beers in. Get them in. That guy's that guy's gonna take a while to recruit. Fa. Where's Fa? Where was the fire? Hey, landing pad. So if ever the, uh, the the royals come in on their shuttles again, they will land there, inside the walls. And not possibly next to some horrible disaster going on outside. Oh no. That'll be fine. Does somebody want to go and get Thalroth and Brezia? Out here. be very happy with you. I have just a moment of your time. Have a brew, he's having a brew. That boy is having a brew. In someone else's bedroom. <laughs> just, yeah, that thing you just walk into your mate's bedroom and just have a brew with them while they sleep. Yeah, it's, it's great. Do that more. That's the, uh, that's the hallmark of a friendly society. <laughs> Ah, I remember when I used to live with Will, I'd occasionally just kick open his door while he was sleeping, just have a beer, sitting on the sitting at his desk, looking creepy. That didn't happen, don't tweet at me. <laughs> Hashtag 
hashtag cancel at ZW. I say as if that's not like my greatest fear. Right, Rimworld. Right. And yeah, I, just to get this out of the way, I'm not going to wait ever weigh in on current events while I'm streaming because uh, that doesn't tend to age very well. Honestly, it's not co it's not good comedy. It's not good commentary. You don't want to hear what I think about something. Why do you want my uninformed reckon, right? Let's just play a game together. It's also uh, like antithetical to the idea of a chill stream, I think. So there, there are plenty of plenty of streams out there that will that'll uh, do that for you if that's your if that's your thing. That's, this is not going to be one. And again, to be clear, just because I'm not commenting on something does not mean I tacitly agree or disagree with it. Uh, it's just apolitical. And Katie will ban you from chat. Ah, good, it rained. That put out the, for the, the raging forest fire. Anyway, back to Rimworld. Remember Rimworld? Constant <laughs> talking bollocks all the time. What happened to me? Oh, right, yeah, muscle parasites. Muscle parasites just sort of suck in this game. Because you can't really do anything about them, you just have to wait for them to go away on their own. Since remaining 0.8 soon. Soon. 6.5. 6.6. Soon. Yeah, you got the ban hammer. Have I not modded you yet? I haven't added you as a friend yet. Uh, the worst husband. I'm sorry. Sad Isaac at me. Heck, y'all want to talk about weird games? Binding of Isaac. I tried, I've tried playing it like three times. It's not for me. It's very, very good. It's very avant-garde. I think all of the all of um, Ed McMillan's games are very very avant-garde and very uh, unique in their uh, in their art styles, but uh, not not for me. Slightly by to harass you, a toxic spear machine banking the whole region in poison to man down the alpha beavers. I mean, until you go destroy it. Um, 
I mean, I could probably deal with... 27 Luciferium? Oh, God, it's happening again. Where is it happening? There, eh? Alright, somebody go get the firebombs. Hans, get the flam and buffer. Hives. Uh, this is bad, actually. about to get very hot in there. Bit that door, bit that door, bit that door. Okay, now they should burn to death. Oh god, they're in! Flee for your lives! Get out of there. Guys, out of there, please. Why won't any of you do any hauling? Thank you. Get that spell of feet out of that door. Quite hot in there. There we go. It's it's getting very hot in there. Oh, everybody, continue playing your vector. What? Thou fool. Well, you live in there now.
Yep. <laughs> Help, it's again. Yeah, they're, they're all gonna catch heat stroke and die. Hundred degrees in there, why aren't you dead yet? Yeah, okay, get yourselves out of there. It is not safe to be in that in that hallway. <laughs> Saying to him, All right, so now we just wait for the fire to spread to. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. Oh no, that didn't put the fires out. Oh dear. Um, all right. Get that door open. Get that door open. Fire Brigade, move in. Latch. Get out of there. Yikes. Guys, there's superheated air in there. Please get out of it. Oh no, I'm going to burn down my whole base. You know what? This is, this is what I get. This is the, uh, I have, th these are the consequences of my actions. Guys, please don't collapse from heat exhaustion in that tiny on fire room. Oh no! Guys, you idiots. Rescue. Rescue. <sighs> no, the dog! Penelope! That dog's a hero! not who's available Takashi rescue star oh rescue starry now that dog's a hero well starry died this is my fault this is all my fault I'm a fool I'm a fool who did this I did this no one else did this. This is all my fault. Guys, evacuate, please. Well, I turned our base into a giant fire hole. Oh, 
unfortunately the temperature is going to stabilize a little bit once the uh, once the windows are all open and everything will eventually run out of fuel to burn. And just just leave that area, please. Um, guys, no, guys, it's a thousand degrees in there. Please get out. Get out. It's it's literally a thousand degrees in there. We've already lost one colonist, I'm lo not losing any more. Just gotta wait for all the flammable stuff to burn. Oh no. Well there goes the beer. Guys, just just peace out please. It's a thousand degrees once again in that corridor. No, can't go in there either. The the beer is ruined, and that's okay. Just let it all burn. There are stone airlock doors there to keep the worst from worst out. You can't burn through that door, and it won't burn through here. It might burn the workshop down. It's definitely burning the interior garden down. Okay, so what we've learned is um, that the interior airlocks actually have to be placed more frequently than where I put them. Because this was a this was a, a solution to the problem. Uh, it was just not a very good solution to the problem. And now a lot of things are on fire. But uh, the 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 problem will resolve itself when the fire gets bored and runs out of things to burn. Doesn't seem to have leaked to anything in the workshop, which is fortunate. Hey, can somebody uh, go open that door? Oh shit! Sorry. The kitchen is safe. Uh, uh oh. Uh, the fire seems to be putting itself out now. The temperature is returning to normal. Very hot in there. Very hot in the kiln. No, you idiots. It's very hot in there. Why are you in there? Fire's out. Everyone has been horribly burned. But we learned a lesson. Just gotta let the heat out now. Yeah, you did that. One Molotov cocktail did all that. remember when I do the, uh, the the liner notes of this episode that I write down just fire exclamation point. The foundations of this place are quite strong. Um, we only lost a lot of things. We didn't lose the food stockpile. 
The dog saved a life. The dog saved Iskra. Who has third degree burns over 90% of her body, but she will heal. Um... <laughs> Everybody has some sort of injury, except for Victor, who was naked the entire time and managed to escape with uh, no injuries whatsoever. Okay, it's 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 now a mere 300 degrees inside these giant stone ovens that we used to call our rooms. The only thing that really burned in here were the carpets and the the carpets and the beds, so we can just rebuild those beds. I'm not in denial, you're in denial. And it sparkles like new. <laughs> I can make the beds out of slate, but I don't know how comfortable that would be. cool enough to work in yet, apparently. We got the bugs, though, and that's what really matters. Okay, everybody, <laughs> back to work. You can sleep in the hospital if you need a bed. <laughs> We've got beer to come on us. at everything. It's like when the Russians put a nuclear bomb at the bottom of a salt mine to see what would happen and they just found it it, it, it was just filled with melted salt. <laughs> like all the salt had melted and poured to the bottom. It's like, ooh, okay. guys. It's gonna be a while. Hey, a new recruit. I'm so sorry you have come to join us in this condition.
This guy just holding clean. Pull the notes. All right, the the temperature is now safe. We may now proceed back into the hell. And uh, yep, there's there's just bug guts and debris and fire everywhere. But we've researched we've researched medicine, and we're going to research automatic doors uh, so that they will uh, automatically seal the next time this happens. I'm kind of sad we lost Starry, and he, he just was vaporized. <laughs> There's some ash where he was. He's he's part of us now. <laughs> Sorry, Starry. Now, now. Foliator. Proximity activator and unstable, two unstable, oh, one unstable power start the glowing light. Damn it. <sighs> That's a bad thing to happen right now because we kind of need. Uh, to be able to work from a a platform of relative stability. Two of the big turrets, though, and we've nearly killed that thing. Uh, that Lancer's gonna come and say hi. Is anybody outside? No, cool. Everyone's on lockdown now, please. The Scyther will sort itself out. I'm not worried about the Scyther, I'm worried about that defoliator. Great shot! Fantastic work, folks. Reload that, though, please. And we've got this boy coming in. Lance is unparticularly sturdy. There he goes. Alright. Unrestricted. Wow, we really came down on that. We absolutely smashed them. Let's not get cocky about that though, because that, that very, very easily could have gone uh, the opposite direction.
pigging out on food. Uh, what? That's a tantrum spiral. He's slaughtering animals. And now she's in a murderous rage because... With Molotov cocktails, no less. Because... Her... Prize Rhino got killed. Arrest, please. Arrest, please. Don't let him near any more animals. guilty that he'll be released. She's good down. One. Stomp and one other recipe. Ooh. There's only two of them, but we just don't have the we don't have the beds right now. I suppose I could like unprisoner these beds that aren't being used for prisoners. And at least people will have somewhere to sleep right now. Uh we'll come back to you in a couple days, guys. We've, we've gotta rebuild some beds. to be delicious. Penelope, you're here. <gasps> okay, well, our, our dog has a drinking problem, but also her tail got burned off saving Iskra. Animals. Iskra, that's your dog now. You understand? That's your dog. That dog belongs to you now. It saved your life. In fact, you belong to it. You belong to that dog, Iskra. It lost its tail for you. Chairs burned down as well. Hey, Naomi's recruited. She get out. Just a really good doctor, eh? you want with your time. Just need you to clean. Clean and doctor and haul a bit.
All right, the vents are back. How many of you were couples again? And want to sleep with Vector? Cool. Well, look, you get to sleep with Vector now. We have a kitty. She has decided to join us and stand right in the way of the computer. Hi. You have been given the attention you so richly deserve. Now bugger off, please. I love you too. So let's sleep with Takashi. So let's get Iskra and Takashi in a room together as well. Who do we have side side of construction? We need more people aside to construction. His story was a really good constructor and unfortunately we lost him. Impressive once it's complete. Oh, you get a mood buff for that now. <laughs> nice. We failed to build a chair properly. They clean the the area of the carpet's going to go in before they start uh, laying it. That's that's cool. I think it's that. be a lesson to you insects we will burn down everything we have for a chance to catch you in the flames I swear by our pretty floral bonnets we will end you oh the lights as well it's really dark in there
can use up a lot of components, but it's going to be worth it for the future fireproofing. Jimmy Wolf Gaming is now hosting with one viewer. Thank you, Jimmy. And welcome, one person. Undignified bedroom. Yeah, I know it's... It's a floor. assigning people to start like aggressively cleaning so it's fine ah oh, it's all lit up again by something other than fire oh that we always had that one that one monkey uh, we bought it a while ago and we've just kept it uh, so you missed us burning down the entire uh, living uh, living quarters in order to kill some insects um, feel free to catch that on the vod Hey, John Blue, how you doing? Welcome indeed, everybody. Yeah, we, uh... We bought a monkey in, like, episode two, and I just kept it. Why? Good question. No more questions. Actually, you know what? We don't need to make these auto doors. We can just keep them held open until uh, we need them shut. We'll build some interior bulkheads as well. It's an elegant solution that won't cost a bunch of money. <laughs> Almost good as new can hardly tell there was a terrifying insect hive there, and then a terrifying fire afterwards. On balance, I don't think I would try that solution again. Uh, because it didn't seem to work out very well. He says, understating just how poorly it worked out. There we go. And everything is back to normal. Oh. Oh, and we should build a, uh, a, a memorial for... <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, the insect blood everywhere. Uh, put a jade column. In memory of Starry. Uh, 
That's that's the, the best way I can think of commemorating him. Did I install that the wrong way around? I sure did. That's why no one's making medicine, because you can't get to the work spot. Thou fool. Okay, and now... So this is what I call a um, honeycomb horror trap. Basically, oh no. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, we're gonna have to off some yaks, I think. Well, we have to kill the fatted calf. And we also lost a rhinoceros to a rampage, which is a very unfortunate way to lose a rhinoceros, and I'm a little bit irritated by that. There we go. Can't even tell. It's exactly like it was before. <laughs> Welcome back, John. Upstairs neighbors training some sort of hoof racing animal. Not sure if anyone can hear that. sound like Flavius Lopez is fleeing a troubling place which wants to hide. Two raids of roughly that size. The must keep his move above twenty five percent.
Hey, buddy, pound some sand. You know what? We're going to rescue these nomads instead. I can't imagine, Jim. That sounds awful. We have refugees. Another one? Where? Oh no! That's bad. Um, but we can solve that problem. First off, we're on lockdown. No one goes anywhere near that thing. Yep. Prepare the mortars. shot. Parker has the float. Who's on that mortar? How about that false miss radius? Close. Sort of. Well, they hit it. They didn't. Deep drilling. Where are you putting those shells? Come on! God, you're like my guard regiment. You've got like 20, 27 mortar shells in the bucket though, so I mean we can... We can afford a few misses. All right, next crew. Oh, they've made those turrets a lot less lethal. Guys? Oh, heck, I just realized. 
Hold fire. Got friendlies in the AO. Hold fire. Really stupid friendlies in the AO. Alright, you may fire when ready. only one turret left, we can finish this off by hand now. Hold fat! Of them here. Actually, here. Yeah, EMP shells I uh, don't have yet. They're also quite expensive and uh, resource intensive as I remember. Yeah. You've, once I have a, um, a ground drill and I don't have to worry about like steel production anymore, then uh, absolutely I'll, I'll start making some EMP ones because that pretty much just goozles mechanoid clusters every time. And it doesn't hurt, um, doesn't hurt your like guys on the ground. That's also something I've been meaning to do. Let me get... Because some of my guys are better at, um... Just stabbing rather than shooting, so I might, uh... I'm gonna start making some swords. Alright, folks. Head fourth. They came, they headed fifth. I'm on a toaster. Cat, you're in the way. Shot in the head. Oh, 
Ah, oh, oh, oh. in the teeth. Right. You guys. Please don't walk between the people shooting. Oh, it, uh, yeah. I love that noise that they've uh, they added that recently. All right, pull everything apart, bring it all home. Oh, we have. <laughs> Stumbling on a completely broken expression on his face, a friend cries. He seems to have lost his shoe. Uh -huh. The rock grinds strikingly the lower part of the image is dominated by five cranes, refers to Cash giving up in despair. That's going on the fridge. And by on the fridge, I mean in the hospital. About this one, uh, Rich Hedgehog teaching attack to a monkey as the monkey thinks of the simpler days, and he was a feral beast. He was to be morphing into an eggplant. He was contrast desolation with elegance. Because the training of the monkey by Rich. Mate, I love, I I love uh, Rimworld art critique. All right, what else we got? What's this one? An illustration of Philip Vector trudging through snow while exerting clouds of fog. The scene appears to take place inside a freezer. It tells the story of Vector freezing to death. He didn't freeze to death, he's alive! The idea of godlessness is done in impressionistic style. Vector's fine, and he chooses to be naked all the time, so that's his problem. Oh, and she's also a nudist, isn't she? There you go. Be free, Naomi. This sounds interesting clashes with the oh I'm kind of hoping that uh one of the one of the statues that gets uh made will depict um starry uh what? Stomp another being hosted. No. Why would we do that? A tough skin gland? Close. Pockets trader. Trade ship is passing nearby. Okay. All oh, right, yeah, because we have the thing now. Inspired trade. The meringue. All right, uh, we are willing to trade our two yak calves, absolutely. Actually, no, we want to keep the calves. We'll trade those two female yaks, though. Uh, we want to keep one stud. Keep that yak. Uh, you can buy that one off as well. I mean, it's always useful. We need a lot of components right now. Do you sell steel? We'll take your entire stock. Yeah, take all our clothes, we can make more.
Yeah, buy all this insect meat, we don't want it. Chocolate. We can make, uh, we can actually start making those. Yeah. Another cow. I have another cow. Absolutely. Alright, cool. Thanks so long and thanks for all the steel. Oh my god, how did you do that, you fool? Please don't build yourself inside the, the murder holes. So, the, the idea behind these is that, uh, whoops, is that when somebody bores through the hole, uh, they only make a very limited, uh, headway into the, um, into the actual area, and then they meet an IED, and then it's easier to clean up, because they can only come through one direction, so. It just takes... It, it's really annoying, it takes a real long time to bore through, and when they do bore through, there's an explosive waiting for them uh, for trying. It's just a, a bad thing to try. <laughs> I mean, the idea of a castle is to make it as awful as possible for people to try and attack. <laughs> Yikes. I probably lost some teeth there. But it wasn't, um... It didn't scar, so uh, apparently I didn't lose any important. I just lost a couple of the front ones, I guess, or it impacted into the uh, into like the lower jaw and sort of bounced off, and it was just a, a bullet graze. Still, uh, things that suck for 300 Alex. Get your monkeys eating the hops. Can't have a monkey eating your hops. How are we gonna make our beer? Wait, oh, because it's not. Making mortar shells again. Just... Oh, more art. Oh, we've got Meredith Latch Abernathy polishing the surface of a duster with a satisfied expression on her face. There's a soft black. Patrol refers to Latch completely work on a duster. Alright, cool. Put it in the prison cell. Oh, art. On the sculpture's artwork of a solitary pirate flying through the air near a gorge. An, or, an unoriginal feeling, a dynamic structure. Where's that now? Because I like it. 
Oh, come on! So we're going to have to go trekking to get rid of it. Ugh. And there's a mech cluster. Of course there is. Oh man, I hate these missions. Alright. Because otherwise it's just going to keep disabling our, our crap over and over again until we get rid of it. Yep, see? That's that's what's the, what that's doing. I would love to help with this, but we can't because we're being we're under assault right now by these goddamn mechs. All right, all able bodies. We're going on a hunt. Cashew can go, Breach can go, these two can go, Mandrel and Latch can go. We'll leave everyone else behind to uh, look after the farm. We'll also take a yak so we can carry some food. Okay, it looks like that's automatically set. We will need more than that medicine, I believe, but here we are. Yeah, it's fine. That's enough to get there and back. Confirm. I'm going because I can call down a um, uh, a unit of guards. Sheridan. What's your stat, Sheridan? Well, you know what? Never mind. Accept. Sharon has joined the colony. A writer. That right, you'll do. Alright guys, maintenance business as usual until we can get rid of this EMI field. Don't let the food stockpiles go bad. Then we will be in trouble.
Gotta fold the river here. Why don't we bring Vector along? He's naked. Oh right, because he has a gun. Just equip these guys with bows for now. I'll make some guns once we get back. Because we can't right now. Make some swords. Alright, here we go. We're hot. Cool, where did we spawn? Um... This is a fun bug. Is that showing beauty? What did I press? Got it. Yeah, when your fingers are like just off register enough. I can't get to these guys. We have to mine our way there? What the hell? Where are you going? Oh, I guess there must be a path here. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Uh oh. Fucking... near each other. Oh my good god. Everybody regroup. Regroup. That's uh, like that. I'm down. And I'm unconscious, so I can't call aid. everyone we we lost everyone I think that's bricked our game because uh, we we don't have the ability to go and uh, get rid of that. We don't have the ability to go and get rid of uh, that EMI field. That was just way too much. Um. Our fridge is completely broken. So all the food's gonna rot away. And we didn't even get anybody out of there. I'm sorry to leave it on a whimper rather than a bang, but unfortunately that's it. That we can't we we actually can't come back from that. Because everything like that that um that confluence of events has cost us the game. Um, and it would not be entertaining. What? Oh. It would not be entertaining uh, for me to.
continue in this state. Like, it would just be a lot of nothing happening. Um, I might continue this one uh, on my own time. For right now, we're going to go to break. And when we come back, uh, we'll have something new. Uh, but for the benefit of our VOD and for the benefit of uh, RimWorld, uh, that's going to be the end of it. Uh, we lost uh, our main cast. Um, the colony is now working without power forever. Yeah, there were there were some things I could have done to to maybe make that fight a little easier, but like it it was kind of it, it was kind of a doomed thing from the start, especially when it bugged and we couldn't see a a, a dang thing. That that probably should have been my um my cue that it was it was unwinnable. I I have never seen the game do that to me before. All right, well, let's take one last look at our colony. All right, everybody, thanks for coming with me on this journey. We're going to go to break, and when I come back, we'll have our next game. Um, so I'll see you shortly. The break, intro, and outro music is brought to you for free by The Fat Lad. Check out the works of the man himself, as well as collaborators like Laura Breen and Anne Julie at youtube.com forward slash the fat rat. The NCW streaming channel is not sponsored by them, but we are huge fans and they generously allow all creators to use their audio for free and come down hard on people claiming copyright on their behalf, so that's nice too. Thank you Mr. Butner. you're a certified good lad.